So it was, a, it was quite a surprise when we looked back at some of the information, the data coming in from the start of the pandemic around March till the end of last year, uh, the number of people diagnosed in the province with cancer had decreased by about a third. And um, we know that's not because cancer has gone away, that's not realistic. And what we're hearing is, um, you know, a couple of types of fears. Um, number one is a concern about um, whether they might be exposing themselves to COVID um, and, and getting the virus by going out in public and, and going to a doctor's office. And the second thing is they're concerned, um, uh, and we hear this, that um, doctors are too busy at this point in time to deal with uh, other health complaints other than COVID. I think that people uh, who are experiencing some change in their health, be it a mole that's growing, um, be it a lump that's uh, not going away or getting bigger, or perhaps um, they're noticing blood if they cough or when they go to the bathroom. Um, these are things that really shouldn't be ignored. Really want people to be um, listening to their body, to be aware of uh, changes that should be checked out. Um, and they need to know that uh, the healthcare system in Alberta is open and ready for them. Uh, doctor's offices have had months to get ready and, and to be used to using uh, personal protective equipment um, distancing people in their waiting rooms, uh, making, making that visit as safe as possible. Um, and so um, the healthcare system is there for people.